Hey, 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 welcome back to my uh, channel. Today we will discuss about one assassin, two different build, one full strength, another full uh, focused on vitality. Which uh, build will be supreme? Let's see, let's get ready for an epic debate about the builds. I tried both and I picked the best for me. Uh, but just before we start, let's talk about the attribute points. And uh, when you level up, just a short introduction for the beginners. Uh, when you level up, you will receive some points and you will put on different places like vitality, strength, speed and luck. Uh, here I will give you the first important tip, always, but always put first points on speed and on luck. There are only 15, uh, 50 points there and will be max size very, very fast. Speed and luck are mandatory, so take uh, this as a first tip and uh, do it on the first levels. Points uh, as well can be changed and reset with 50, uh, 500 points. Uh, gems and uh, these gems uh, you will uh, earn free by doing uh, daily quests, contract quests and bounty um, bounty quests. Yeah, like like this one. You will receive at the end of the week some uh, gems if you are doing uh, and helping your guild as well. Okay, so first uh, I tried uh, assassin strength build. Um, well, uh, I tried this build, I put it all my points on the strength, but I died a lot. So with uh, every attribute point invested in strength, uh, your character uh, packs a serious punch from devastating, uh, devastating feel, um, melee, sorry, melee attacks to increase damage output. This build excels in delivery swift and lethal blow to enemy. This build is very good for uh, PvP and also for cop. But uh, when you are doing one, uh, one, one, uh, let's say um, fight. Uh, strength means damage, high damage, but less uh, health, uh, and this uh, can affect your uh, playstyle. If you are a strength assassin, this means you are playing uh, with your friends in a team and you have uh, let's say a warrior in front and you come and hit from behind uh, very very hard how to maximize your damage with uh, this uh, strength uh, build uh, that you have for you have to put uh, let's say and to focus on uh, weapon and gear with the boost physical attack power to increase your uh, damage output you have to focus uh, on the skills that have, let's say, one target, like um, uh, this one, I think, uh, this has an area level, like this one, like uh, this one, lifesteal, yeah, and uh, other skills uh, that you have, this one as well, hit only one, and on uh, chains I have a small area as well. But you get the idea, you have to focus on the skills one, one by one. Uh, okay, and uh, first you have to reinforce your weapon, your uh, amulet and the ring. Yeah, this will confer you a lot of uh, damage. Okay, let's talk about the second build and my actual build. It's regarding and related to Vitaly. Vitality. Yeah, I put all the points on vitality, as you can see, and uh, with the focus on endurance and uh, resilience, this uh, character can withstand heavy blows and uh, outlast opponents in uh, in battle. For example, this uh, um, while lacking, uh, let's say, uh, damage. The vitality build shines in uh, survivability and making you a force. And staying, so you are, uh, uh, now you can stay, let's say, uh, one by one, and you will have more health. Uh, okay, uh, with the focus on this, 
uh, I can uh, play uh, the game uh, solo. Uh, I can uh, run uh, faster than doing my, my daily, uh, daily quest. I don't have, uh, let's say, um, uh, need of help only on the quests that are very difficult. And I can uh, take fights with more, uh, more monsters. And I can kill, let's say, a group of uh, monsters I can kill with my AOE skills. Um, how to maximize uh, damage with the vitality uh, build? Well, you have to invest, let's say, um, in vitality by upgrading your uh, gears that provide health or defense. Uh, that means survivability. To enforce this, I mean by reinforcing armor, helm and boots. You have to use um, AOE skills, effect uh, area in effect, let's say, like this uh, that I'm using now, to be able to kill a more uh, a group of monsters, yeah, like uh, acid rain, like uh, uh, those new skills, and the legendary uh, uh, weapon skill. Uh, okay, uh, this is like let's see. Um, I like this playstyle because it uh, helps me to grow level level very fast and uh, this uh, offers me uh, more experience per, uh, per hour. Of course I'm not very very strong at the moment but I'm uh, going, going up. Third option could be the hybrid um, build but I never tried that one so uh, I don't have any clue just leave a comment if you tried this uh, this build when you put 50% on strength and 50% on vitality. Okay, good. So now just the general uh, tips and the final conclusion. Um, what you have to, to, to do is to stay agile and mobile. Uh, you have to, regardless uh, your chosen build, um, you have to maintain the mobility and agility to evade the enemy attack. As you can see, my defense is not uh, that good as an assassin. Uh, my damage is uh, it's good, uh, but uh, you have to find your playstyle and to see uh, how to improve your uh, your playstyle. Constantly, you have to evaluate and to adjust uh, the build that you have. You have to be open to try new approaches and to refine, uh, refine your game, gameplay based on, uh, on the feedback and try your tries. Yeah? You have to stay informed about the updates and changes to keep up uh, uh, to see the balance changes uh, and how this will impact your uh, effectiveness uh, in certain builds. You have of course to adjust your build. Uh, and trying new approach, uh, you have to take a look on the new uh, legendary armors and weapons to see if this uh, could help you and you become more strong. And of course, you have to remember that the most important aspect of gaming is to have fun and to enjoy your uh, your journal journey. Don't be afraid to experiment uh, different builds and playstyles because. Uh, only this you will find the best approach and the best uh, gameplay for you. And uh, as a final conclusion, it's clear that, uh, for me as well, it's clear that both strength and vitality uh, builds have their merits in this world of every land's uh, RPG game. Whatever you prefer, the brute, brute force, or vitality to sustain more in, uh, in combat, in fights, it's up to, up to you. One more thing that I want to, to tell you is just experiment different builds. It's not taking too much, 500 gems, it's easy to, to earn in this game and it's uh, free. Test it, find the best gameplay for you and go ahead in your uh, open uh, and 
epic adventure in uh, this uh, Evil Land game. This is my personal opinion related uh, the build. Now I'm using this one. I see that uh, for me it's working, let's say, good. Not perfect, but it's working good. Uh, and uh, I think this can work similar for mage and warrior, so please leave a comment uh, because I like to hear your opinion as well. That's all for today. Thank you and for, for the moment I will uh, stay with this, uh, this vitality build for my uh, assassin. Thank you and take care. Bye bye.